I used some of the oak that I resawed from the frame saw video to make this little noughts and crosses or tic tac toe board. So I basically just started using my smoothing plane to smooth it down and make it nice and flat and square, or at least as square as I could. Then I started marking out the, where the little sections would go, the little scoops that would hold the counters in place. Of course it's important to come from either side here, so you can see I've started from one side and then I've come in from the other side because if you were to go all the way across you would almost certainly or more than once probably split out some grain on the other side which would, you know, not be fun. And I cut up some little counters. I was going to cut the actual shapes of the noughts and crosses out in walnut, which I did actually try with my fret saw, but they didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. So I went with the counters, which was my original plan anyway, but at least I tried the other way. I probably could have made them better if I tried for a longer amount of time, but I just kind of wanted to get this one done in the way that I designed in the first place. This shows my need for carbon paper there, rather than just scratching it on with a pencil from underneath. And I've got this small gouge. Started to cut out the X, or the cross. If it's sharp enough, you can go cross grain. It's, I mean, obviously, that's not the sharpest gouge in the world, but it's sharp enough to do what it does. Then I got a little washer that made the circle. I always do that when I can, just use something that as a circle to make a circle just makes life a lot easier. Just cutting the way I cut all circles out, usually, which is to take the inside out, take the outside out and kind of do a V cut so they meet down in the middle, you can kind of see the V shape there, sort of a valley. And I'm using my Mora knife to kind of smooth off or chamfer around the edges, just makes the counters nicer to hold. Use my plane to kind of make a little sloped edge on the front. I was thinking maybe I might carve some initials or something on that at a later date. We'll see. Then after that I just simply painted inside the pieces that I carved away. Inside the noughts and the crosses. And then used a bit of sandpaper to get down in the gaps where I painted to kind of take a bit of the paint off. So you could see the carve marks and... So it looked kind of worn, if you know what I mean. It's kind of a cool little look. And I slapped on as much Danish oil as I could, uh, as hurriedly as possible, to try and get it in one fairly quick take for the camera. And all in all, it was a really fun build. I enjoyed it very much. And just seeing the oak come out when putting the oil on it is something really nice. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed that. I did it all on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Timber New, if you feel like coming along for a live stream one day. Thanks a lot for watching, hopefully I'll catch you next time.